on this just to uh, film this from all sorts of angles just to show you kind of how I do it. Uh, so this is going to be a pumpkin. Um, you want to kind of draw these segments just to kind of give it a pumpkin-y, feely shape like that. And then give it a bit where it's being kind of uh, cut out, open at the edge. I'll make that a, 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 an ellipse just to make that easier. Um, and then you're going to want sort of big uh, evil eyes. So if you kind of draw a curve like that and then come down on the sides and then come back up to the middle, that should get there. And then you're going to see the kind of the thickness of the pumpkin. So uh, so that will do that. I'm not going to put a nose in there. So let's put a big kind of banana shaped smile there just to give an angle to work on. And then we can cut teeth into that as well. And then we're going to want to think about um, this kind of perspective. So, uh, you know, vanishing points and things like that. You, you can have a vanishing point in here as well. Um, so the vanishing point will kind of be in the center of, of the pumpkin. So draw these lines sort of going in towards the center and then um, and then back down again. So they don't then so you've got the kind of the thickness of the the pumpkin, right? And I'm gonna draw all around the outside. And I'm gonna as I come around there I'm just gonna do kind of dots just to um so, so that it doesn't, you don't want great big lines going all the way up through it, so dot, 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 and then maybe some dots going up, then some dots, and then that will come all the way around, and we'll make that a bit lumpy on the other side, and make it lumpy going around there, and as you will see it from the inside, um, now you've actually got the so you actually want to, rather than do a straight line if you kind of work it to where the the curve is that would make it look a bit more interesting where you've got this kind of fold in the pumpkin fold it's not it's not a fold really is it so it's a, it's the contour it's the shape of the pumpkin that, that we're trying to get in there and that would be something like that okay and then if we follow this line of the teeth all the way up there and then down here like that and then where I showed you to, to get that um, kind of vanishing point going into the middle like that and it would be there like that good I think that's got our pumpkin I am now going to what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to dry this to make sure it's dry. And then... I'm, ah! And then I'm going to, it's because I'm doing this all in one take. Um, and then I'm going to erase all the pencil lines out of there. And now I am going to have to stop a bit closer. Okay, this is going to be really, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the outside first. I'm going to paint the, the darkness. And I think I've shown you this colour before. It's called Neutral Tint. I never use black. Uh, if you use black in a uh, painting watercolour, it just makes it look such a mess. And, and every colour that you put on top after, it's just going to get stained and uh, it's not good. So um, if you bought a packet of watercolours and it's got a black in it, just throw it away. <laughs> Do yourself a favour because <laughs> you'll go um, crazy trying to work out why your watercolours are getting so dark and dingy and awful. Um, there are much better colours to use. And, and you don't need to go completely black with watercolours. Um, you, I, I really like this shade. I'm sure you can find others. Some people will kind of use browns. And everyone has their own kind of individual kind of palette that they 
um, use. So neutral tint is kind of my thing. Uh, I don't know if it's a. It's made by Winsor and Newton. I don't know if everybody else has a paint color called neutral tint or not. So uh, there you are. I'm just gonna just gonna drop a bit of kind of solid color in around the back there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Uh, it just seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, just to give a bit of extra shade and something or other to it all, I suppose. The paint up there. Right, good. Now I'm going to have to try this. This may take some time, so I might have to edit this. If I'm editing this, it's going to be really difficult. <laughs> But then you won't be hearing it through that. and things. Uh, 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 I need some. Uh, uh. This is, um, what's it, they used to call it Bounty? I don't know what they call it now. They changed its name. Um, well, maybe they called it, changed it to Bounty. Anyway, um, it's that really nice kitchen towel, which I use when I'm painting. Uh, right, I'm going to get some yellow in there. That's going a bit dirty from somewhere. Got some grey still on the paintbrush, I think. Okay, right. Let's get this. Uh, I'm gonna right in, right in the middle of the eye bits. Then I'm gonna do yellow, and it's really quite pale. Okay, so you don't don't want to make it yellow, yellow, yellow. Um, and. What I can do is that while that's there, I can probably do some kind of really dark orangey kind of brown because we could get the light kind of shining. So if you kind of use a, um, that's actually using a burnt sienna and vermilion and I'm not quite cadmium, I think it's cadmium yellow. I think it is. I don't know, <laughs> you know, I've, I've been doing so much black and white illustration for so long that I don't really use my paints that much these days. And so I haven't actually bought paints for quite a while. <laughs> I've forgotten what, what colours I've got. So it uh, sounds a bit stupid. Um, I know this is burnt sienna I'm using here. So it's, this is. Essentially, I'm putting on burnt sienna at the moment, which is brown, which is not what you think of as a pumpkin, but but you've got to make it quite dark to make the kind of the light show through. You can start, you can see it's kind of starting to become a, a lantern, and I'm going to pour in some much stronger colour like that. And I think I'm going to start putting in a bit of sepia as well around the edges. And I'm going to put sepia in kind of along there. Sepia is kind of a brown. So I'm going to make sure that those edges are quite dark. And, and in there too. So, I'm aware that I'm being, I probably sound a bit, <laughs> people always say, well, you're always laughing all the time, now I'm doing it, um, I'm kind of concentrating, but I'm also a bit tired, because yesterday I was doing, drawing my life in a day, I don't know if you saw it, I got a new channel called um, 
Shoe Rain Alive. So YouTube.com Shoe Rain Alive. I'll put a thingy up for it. And um, go and have a look. So yesterday I drew my life in a day, which turned out to be mostly editing my life in a day. I didn't have time to do any drawing because I was filming and editing all the time. <laughs> and uh, it, I got a bit um, exhausted in the end. Uh, I'm going to make this even darker here, I think, around where the light is. So what am I going to say? Yeah, so so if I sound a little subdued today, it's probably because I'm a bit tired. I've also got... Um, I'm doing all this videoing and stuff and YouTube, and but I've also got a rush illustration job on, which I can't tell you about, but I will, because I'm actually filming. I'm filming the job, but I can't tell you about it until it's finished. But it's, uh, it's for quite a famous author, and I don't mean me. <laughs> so uh, it'll be quite interesting when it comes out, when I'm allowed to show it to you. My contract says I'm not allowed to, but um, they say I can film, film myself illustrating it because it's a really quick kind of nice quick job. Um, it, it, it's going to let me kind of do the whole thing quite quickly. So. Yeah. Now we need to make it all a bit orangey. We need to get some orangey colours in. Um, yeah, so so that that thing I'm going to I'll, I'll be putting on my Shoe Rain Alive channel. I'm going to be putting all sorts of things on there, um, kind of chats. I keep wanting to do chats on here, and then I think and then people go, oh, "Why can't you just <laughs> do? Uh, why can't you <laughs> just do drawing lessons?" So I'm going to put um, those kind of things in there. Uh, now I'm going to. Start from orange there and start orange there, and then, um, and then I'm going to put clean water in and just kind of fade them a bit there. So then I'm going to put which way shall I put it? I've pushed itself off. So, hmm, I'm not sure. Am I recording again? Yes, I think I am. Yeah. So that'll be that'll be interesting. Um, Okay, and then this kind of orange will make it look more um, pumpkin-y, I hope. Yeah, so I'm going to put lots, lots of stuff on that channel. Um, there's going to be interviews with other artists. Um, I'll do, you know, talk about materials and techniques and things like that. And uh, I know a lot of people have been asking about watercolour, so maybe I'll do a thing about watercolour. Um, on there, so it'll be yeah, different kind of channel. Um, this is kind of floating in the air. So, um, so go over and have a look at that. Get yourself subscribed on there so that you you know when there are new things coming along. So, uh, and also, yeah, go along, go go along to She Went Alive and um, make a comment and say what kind of thing you'd like me to talk about, because <laughs> that would be quite interesting. Uh, so it's going to be quite quite a, a chatty kind of channel. I'm going to make that more. And where would we need that to be? So we need to get a feel for the um, the kind of the ridges on here as well, don't we? Um, should be going kind of up there. Uh, I'm not sure about this at all. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. This is what happens sometimes. Think, oh no, it's not going to work. And then suddenly it all kind of comes together. I think it's because of. I think that needs to be quite a lot darker around the back there. And then I think you need quite a lot more down here of shade. So there we go. And 
just going to put some kind of artistic streaks in there just to make it more <laughs> there we go well mm, I'm still not entirely happy I'm for the red but better and then a better more I think I need to get this much darker there and see what happens I'm going to bleed that up into the rest of the painting and again I think we probably need that to be darker up there Probably needs to be darker up around this line here as well. Yeah, that's kind of doing it. I think that's bringing it together. I was trying to do this in such a short time is not easy. And, and I haven't practiced this either. <laughs> I probably should have rehearsed it. <laughs> that's probably why I'm having trouble with it. There. I think that's... Actually, that's looking really quite nice in the camera. It looks different, yeah, because I can't get my head right over the top of it. So um, I'm going to call that it. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something from it. <laughs> and uh, if you did, keep coming back to the Shurader Drawing Channel on YouTube. And uh, in the meantime, you <laughs> keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.